beloved brothers and sisters. Because we all share our thoughts and our energy and our vibration, it is very easy to influence another and it's very easy to be influenced by another. And there's a kind of sleepiness that takes over where if you follow the path of least resistance, incrementally, you will be at the influence of the collective thought system, like a force field that's on the earth. And the message is, unless you're conscious, will slowly but surely corral you away from yourself, away from the love that you are. So if you just amble along and you just let yourself be influenced by what people say and what the media says, you will find one that you will be taken away from that which releases you and liberates you and slowly but surely imprisoned by that which limits you. For instance, over the past few years, the messages have not been subtle. The message was, be afraid, there's a terrible pandemic. If you listen to the media from the left, they have you fear the right. If you listen to the media from the right, they have you fear the left. And this terrible pandemic means that you should isolate yourself. You should stay indoors, cover up, and be separate from other people to be safe. And while you're at it, don't go outside and be in nature. Just stay inside and be careful. And the box you're living in will get smaller and smaller. Don't connect with people. You might pick up what they have. Don't touch anything they've touched. And there are things happening outside of your control that can be very damaging to you. And be afraid for your children too. And all of this is antithetical to who you are. It requires that you trust your own experience, trust nature, trust love, trust connection, trust your body, trust the healing power of the universe. Trust your strength, trust God, and trust your highest self. The choices that you make are important. If you choose for love, if you choose for connection, if you choose for health, if you choose to be in nature, let the sun bless you. And it's not that you have to engage in conspiracy theories about who is trying to suppress you and fight against them, because that just draws you into it even more. But instead, you rise above all of that chatter. The air that you drink in 
is what's keeping you alive. The water that you drink, the food that you eat, bless all of it. Let yourself be strong in love. And just don't pay attention to anything that draws you into fear and has you contract. The glory of God is expansive and so are you. Let yourself expand. Let your consciousness expand. Include everything you see, everything you feel. Even things that are uncomfortable, include them too. Be the open channel for the love of God and spread that, expand that wherever you go. You are safe. You are loved. And you are connected. I love you and I'll speak with you again soon.